Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun tutorial on how to make a magnet board for your child. I mean, I guess it could be for yourself or maybe even a garage space where you needed to have a bunch of magnetic items. It was a very inexpensive project. I used an auto drip pan. I just, what is happening? It will matter. She's just going to be part of this video. <laughs> but I used an auto drip pan. You can find at any auto place store. I do think Walmart has them sometimes. We got this one from either AutoZone or Napa Auto Parts. So you can get it from any kind of auto parts store. And I think it was $10. So don't buy them online. Don't buy on Amazon. They're like 20, 30 bucks. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of making your own magnet board. And then I covered it in fabric which I think I used a yard and a half and I paid $3.90. Um, I got the fabric from Walmart, it was really easy. And I used kind of like a Loctite adhesive spray to have the fabric stick. So I'll kind of walk you through that in this video. So if you want to know how to make your own magnet board, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was just put the oil pan on the ground. I used a drop cloth. I really didn't want to do this outside. It was freezing outside when I did this project. So I did it inside and I just put the drip pan on top of, the, of a drop cloth and put the fabric on top of the pan. There was a pretty good wrinkle running down the middle of the fabric. So I just wanted to kind of iron that out, get any big seams out. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I loathe ironing. I honestly forgot I even owned an iron, so I was thankful I had it for this project. And I just laid it on top of the drip pan and just simply kind of ironed all the wrinkles out as best as I could that I felt like was gonna be good enough. So that's the drip pan I used. I would recommend finding one that doesn't have any raised lettering though in the middle if you can. That is the product I use. It's Loctite. I made sure to get one that adheres to metal and it's a really easy spray it, and it doesn't really smell that terrible inside. And what you're gonna do is just like if you were spray painting a regular colored spray paint, I held it about probably eight inches away from the metal and you just want it to be a really fluid motion. And I would definitely layer on more than you think. I would go back again if I did it again and just do another layer so it's really thick and then just make sure that you're getting around the edges and in the corners. And then like it says on the screen, just let it sit for at least 30 seconds to one minute before you begin to lay the fabric on top of the drip pan itself. So I just, once it had kind of set for a little bit, I laid the fabric on top of it. And then think of it kind of like if you were putting a screen protector on your phone, start from the middle and then start spreading out. That's how you're gonna get any bubbles, any air pockets kind of pressed out of there so that you won't have those areas in or underneath the actual fabric. And you will see in another shot, you'll see kind of that raised lettering of the drip pan kind of showing through the fabric. I didn't really care for this fabric, but if you were making it for someone or maybe you just didn't want any kind of lettering like that, I would recommend just getting one without lettering. What I did here was I felt like the Loctite didn't get thick enough. So it does make the fabric movable. So if you mess up, you can peel it off and start over. So that's what I liked about that product. And then once I felt like that was a little bit thicker, I didn't really give it any wait time and I just slapped it back down and then smoothed it into the cracks. Okay, so next I flipped the pan over and you'll need to use a hot glue gun to glue the edges down. I didn't feel like the Loctite was gonna be enough to truly glue it down. And what I would recommend, because you're hot gluing on metal so it dries super fast, is do little tiny beads, flip it, and press it down really quickly. Remember, this is really hot. Use your trusty thimble if you want to. I didn't feel like getting mine out. I wish I would've. 
um, to avoid the burns, but you're just going to go along making sure that it's super tight um, and again just do really small sections because the glue dries super quick um, because you're applying it to the metal. Around the corners you just do little sections at a time so that you can fold it over to get kind of like a seamless kind of look so that you can keep going around the edge so that it doesn't look like super crinkly or anything like that so just kind of keep folding it and then pressing it down. So this just kind of shows you what it looks like up close in the corners. It's certainly not pretty in the back, but no one but the wall is going to see that, so I didn't really care too much. And then to hang this up, I used these um, kind of like command strips, but they are very velcro-y and they just kind of snap into place. So how I did this was just place it on the metal board and then put the back on it so that when I go to peel, put it on the wall, I just peeled the backing off of the actual command strip. So I had them placed, again I used three like I showed you in the picture. You can see them there, I had peeled off the backing and then I literally just slapped it on the wall and you're going to want to use some good force just to make sure it adheres really well. But I didn't really want to use nails, there's really no good way to hang it because there's no hangers because it's a drip pan. But you just put it on the wall and it's pretty much ready to use right away. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a super easy tutorial. You can easily DIY this yourself. And I, because I didn't use nails, it's not going to hurt my wall. I can take it on or off at any time in case... My child grows out of it or maybe she just doesn't like it that much you know you never know when you do DIYs for kids of whether or not they're going to use it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye